love this recipe. Everyone who I make it for is completely obsessed with this cake and no one believes that it's vegan. Plus, it also feeds a ton of people, so it's great for birthdays or any other occasion like that. Also, it is healthy-ish and pretty low-fat considering that it's a chocolate cake. So yeah, why not try it? First thing would be to preheat the oven to 175 degrees Celsius. Next up, mix together all of the dry ingredients. So, the flour, the baking powder, the baking soda, and the cacao powder. Take the vegan butter and put it in a bowl into the preheating oven for just a few minutes so that it can melt. Then take five ripe bananas and mesh all of them up using a fork. Add the banana mesh to a large bowl and to that, add in the melted butter, one and a half cups of hazelnut milk, and a half a cup of water. Plus, add in the raw sugar. Next step would be to combine the two, so the wet and the dry ingredients, and you got yourself some chocolate cake batter. batter into a pan that is lined with parchment paper and just spread everything evenly and put the cake into the oven for 18 to 20 minutes make sure to keep an eye on them uh, on it the cake and yeah. Take it out and let it cool completely. Best thing to do is to just leave it out there overnight because the next morning is gonna look something like this. The last step requires you to melt some dark chocolate. Everything with 50% of cacao or more is basically vegan most of the time. I also topped everything off with some banana chips and some golden sprinkles. It's also recommended to put the cake into the fridge for an hour or two so that everything can harden. But as you can see, I was impatient and I did not do that. Um, yeah, it's just not gonna be as messy if you let it cool in the fridge for a while. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you want to, then click subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Let me know if you try this recipe. And yeah, bye.